Instagram Diary of a Tracked Girl and this is Bolton Away. It's been on, it's been off, it's been on and it's been off again. And then at 2.30 this morning when I woke up for a wee because my toddler woke me in the night, um, I checked my phone and it had been confirmed that they have managed to sort out their computer and they are, the game is on. So we are on our way. It is a glorious day here in Lancashire so we are hoping to spend some time in the beer garden before we head to the game, so uh, come and join us. There we go. I like it, I yeah. think it's one of the best grounds I've been to. I went to the last one minute, right, is it, was it left, Courage Parkway? Yeah. Because yes. it's right near the ground, isn't yes. it? Yes, literally is that. Oh, um, Anne pointed out, it's University of Bolton now. Yes, it's not the Macross. <laughs> Truly confused me. Right. Left? There? No. Yeah, there you go. Horridge Park, mate. In, in here? That doesn't seem right. But it is. So, this is Anne, a wonderful Anne, who oh. did not miss a game last year, which is a pretty incredible given it was Nick McCarthy. Yeah. <laughs> Draws specialist. And this year has only missed one game, which yeah. is amazing. So you are well accustomed to having to travel long distances yeah. to watch us lose and having to get up early and get back in the early hours of the morning. I don't know how you do it, I think you're a saint. Um, <laughs> I don't know how I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> but it must have been triply frustrating last night, going to bed, not knowing if you were actually going to be driving up here today. Yeah, it's been a bit of a, a, bit of a nightmare all week really. Um, Games off, games on, off again. It's just watching social media, seeing what's going on, and yeah, it's been pretty, uh, pretty frustrating. But uh, good to be here now. Yeah, that's, I think the fact that um, I didn't want it to be pulled off, I wanted to still be here. I wanted to still have it today. So many people coming today. Mm. Um, I think that sort of shows us quickly yeah. the good atmosphere. Oh, it should be a bounce atmosphere, but I think £5 a ticket or something. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I've never nice. known this many people here at the Bolton Way. No. That's, I haven't at all. I mean, we were here the other year, weren't we? There was basically just us and a few other people dotted around, wasn't there? But yeah. I dare say a lot of people, £5 a ticket really brought people out and all the inflate, inflatable day stuff as well. Absolutely. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely bouncy in the stadium today. What I wanted to ask though is all this stuff going on with, Bar with Bolton. Mm. Has your feeling been, this is so frustrating, why won't they just sort it out? Or has it been something else? No, well, well, my, my view is, you know, I feel sorry for Bolton fans. It's, um, yeah, they might not have a football club to support for much longer, so... You know, it, it, it's, it's slightly frustrating for us, but what they're going through is far worse. And, you know, I think I'm, it, I'm more tolerant of the situation. Right, guys, uh, it was a nice, easy journey for me because I live so close, but less so for you. Yeah, well, um, <coughs> How did it feel last night going to bed not knowing what's happening today? Oh, I was very, I was very nervous because I wanted the game to go ahead, um, and I knew probably more like I'd wake up and the game would be called off and I'd be annoyed. But <laughs> I'm delighted it's on, and I'm feeling confident. I'm going to say three-one town today. Oh, I like it. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've said, uh, I've said one-one uh, today after after the poor performance at Hull. Um, Obviously, I don't know what team's out yet, um, but yeah, I, th I think 1-1 one, one will, pro will probably be the score today. Yeah. We've seen each other at a lot of games recently. Yeah. The change for, for Hull, I didn't see that one, but it seems to have been a completely different side. What do you think caused it? I don't know, really. I mean, I, I, I think maybe the, uh, the, the, uh, the fact that there was no pressure on the team because of uh, because we're, we're effectively down now, maybe that's uh, taking the pressure off them and they're actually playing football now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't, know, I don't really know what else it could be down to. Yeah, I agree with you, to be fair. What I can't remember the question was, what, what did you say? What made us change from being so good before the international break? Oh, uh, okay, I think, at home. I don't know, maybe the international break sort of gave the players a bit of rest and their first game being back, it's obviously set them back a little bit, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, but hopefully we can kick on today and hopefully we can get the win. Yeah. I just, I'm really, we need a win. And I know we're probably down, but if we win today and there's talks of Bolton getting points deductions, who knows what can happen? Football's a funny game, isn't it? 
we could we could stay up. I don't know. But I don't think that's that's not going to happen. Is it? There's so much more positivity than me. You can tell I'm like ten years older. <laughs> Thank you, Ipswich fans. Yes, you can go now, Ben. <laughs> Bar Vilkowski in goal. Miles Kenlock, James Collins, Luke Chambers, Josh Emanuel, Teddy Bishop, Cole Skews, Andre Dizel, Alan Judge, Gwion Lewis and Colin Quaynar. On the bench is Dean Gherkin, Trevor Shalabar, Caden Jackson, Flynn Downs, Ted Daniel Fiala, James Bree and Ojasel Mazzuni. What do you reckon? Huh? What do you think of that? Good line up, but where's Will Keane? <laughs> Will Keane obviously not fit. Is he not back yet? Yeah. yeah. What, well, some Scoos back in? Yeah. And then. On the who was the other one that I was shocked at? Nolan. Yeah, no Nolan, but we know he's injured, don't we? Yeah. Happy with that? Yeah, I'm happy with that. So keep it to yourself because I'm never normally positive, but I've got this feeling down in the pit of my tummy that we might do something today. I don't know, I just feel like if we could be how we were before the international break, with Bolton, all the mess they've had this week, bless them, it's got to put us on the front foot, it has to. We've got the confidence of Judge just signing, Colin's back in the side, I'm over the moon about that because I loved seeing him play at Wigan. Um, I don't know, I just feel like the momentum's there, even though the momentum is down to League One. It just would be nice to go down fighting. And this is a six-pointer. This really would be fighting. Bolton need the points. Bolton are desperate for the points. Um, and it's strange because from our point of view, I think, we look at Bolton and think they've still got a chance of survival. But actually reading uh, Harry from Bath's match preview, they don't think they have either. They don't feel confident, they're frustrated. And when you read a bit further and you see that they're frustrated, they're fed up with the club, fed up quite rightly of what's going on. Um, but also the team and the way they're playing, they're defensive because they can't play any other way, they're not even very good at that. They're not expecting goals, they're not expecting wins. Where will the goals come from, one of them said. And you just think, oh, hang on, I've heard that before because that's basically us. So, fingers crossed, I'm going to see what everyone else thinks. Um, I haven't committed to a score prediction, but I am feeling good. How about you? Um, I think if it had been for the international break, I probably would have felt better. But after last week's performance, I'm, you know, I'm just here for a day out, really. That's, yeah. that's something that I'm not really used to doing. It's just, I think last, last, because last week's performance was just quite... Nothing really. It wasn't. It was. You know. It was had that moment where everyone was singing. Every little thing's going to be all right, and it just felt really somber. Yeah. Um. So. Gallows humour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gallows humour. So it's uh, not really sure what to expect. Um. I imagine Bolton have probably got a lot more to play for, and they are a club in crisis. So. Yeah. It's going to be quite weird. I think it's going to be quite a strange atmosphere. I reckon. But yeah, I'm not going to commit to a score prediction. Um. Because. Who knows with us? <laughs> we could play brilliantly, not that we have much this season. Um, or it could be a one-all draw, or it could just be nil-nil. It could I just mean, be both teams are utter shy. So pretty much, yeah, yeah, yeah. Goals. I mean, it usually is. That's what's happened for the past few seasons, hasn't it? It's just been crap. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's a valid point. We were talking about it on the way here, and what games we've been to at Bolton lately. We think the one last year was one-all. Yeah, we think, and there was a bad one hitting the crossbar, and that must have been last season, because it was only one of us all year. Yeah, of so, course. So. And the one before that, I think, was um, so maybe Niles getting yeah, sent possibly. off towards the end. Yeah, that was actually, um, yeah, this was a night game, wasn't it? But and you're right, it's always a dire game. Yeah, it usually is. <laughs> so we're so hopeful for today. So hopeful for today. <laughs>
Might be able to have a, a season where we don't spend the last ten minutes shitting ourselves. <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't, I don't, under any circumstances, that will not happen at all. It just wouldn't be Ipswich, would it? There'll be at least five games when that won't happen. <laughs> so I think we were obviously two 0 up. Made the subs, and I felt like it went a bit flat after the subs. Yeah, we were still pretty comfortable with it, really, but yeah. you know so. If, yeah. if that goal had happened like five weeks beforehand, we might have got a little bit more upset. <laughs> we would have, could, we would have, they would have equalised if we'd have scored it five minutes earlier, wouldn't they? Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we were just waiting for it. Who's your man, man of the match? Um, I would have said, I know who kind of got the goals and, and it was great. I thought Collins was brilliant today. Yeah? He, he, won, he won everything in the air. So, yeah. yeah. Made it seem a lot better, so, uh, yeah. No. Nice shout. Nice shout. Oh, yeah, I was happy to see it. Like, Hannah, who would Hello. you go for? Um, yeah, I did. I think the defence did really well today, despite the fact we just we had one other comedy uh, goal going on net. Um, yeah. Yeah, I thought Colin, Collins brought that um, stability that we needed to the back line, I think. But Judge was everywhere. Judge was... Yes. Judge was... Um, Everywhere, I just wish he could shoot. He was omnipresent. Yeah, om- omnipresent, pretty much. <laughs> because he's, he's he's God. judge for new Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes he is. Um, yes he is. Man of the match, guys. Colin Quayna. <laughs> We've got three different ones now. And I think that's a good shout. You got it for two goals. And what's the say, really? I mean, they... <laughs> judge. Judge, they are two for judge. <laughs> I'll take that. What do you reckon, Julie? Um, I'm going to go for Craner because he got the goal. Two for Craner as well. I could, be, I could be the disciple lover. <laughs> I could be the deciding vote here. Chainbow was throwing himself about, you know, getting, getting involved. So yeah, Chainbow deserves a good shout. For Chambers. Chambers. James Collins was good. Collins was good. Um, I in thought Guion was good, actually. I yes. Think it's the best game I've yes. seen from Edwards. Guion's done well. Yeah. I'm going to go judge, just because it's judge. I'm going to So he gets it from us. <laughs> Yesterday was by no means the greatest game of football. In fact, the first 20, 25 minutes or so was absolutely diabolical and nothing less than what I expected of Bolton away, to be honest. Um, we're always a bit dire, a bit boring, heading for a draw whenever we go there. And to be honest, until Craner got his first, I really was expecting it to be nil-nil. Um, but Lambert's right, we played well. Um, I think you can only be as good as your opposition and Bolton totally understandably were not at the races yesterday. Um, there was one player there, young lad, um, came on the pitch, I think it was number 42, came on the pitch and there was a few comments around us that he looked like a young Jimmy Bullard um, and actually the way he played, he was absolutely bossed midfield, he was fantastic. Um, 
for a 17 year old to be the one that was making the most impact on the pitch was pretty incredible so uh, fair play to him and I'll be keeping an eye out for him um, next season when we will be playing Bolton away because they are definitely a League One side and honestly if that's what we've got to face next year then I don't have many nerves about it I think um, we looked in control we looked at the better side. There were several players in that team who had really decent performances. Chambers literally putting his whole body um, in front of the ball to stop the chances going through. Um, it was Bart's first win of the season, which is a bit of a shame. A um, couple of point blank saves from him. Um, Bolton didn't have many chances, but the ones they did, Bart dealt with well, I think. Um, Weon Edwards had what I think was the best game I've seen him play. He was very, very handy going forward, uh, putting in crosses into the box. Lovely, lovely. Him and Judge link up very well. Um, Alan Judge is, of course, the man of the moment, and I absolutely adore him. Um, should have scored in the second half. Uh, you can actually catch that moment a few seconds ago in the video. Um, so if, you, if you managed to see it, I managed to catch that one. Um, Craner obviously scoring not only once but twice. So having gone until Stoke at home without actually seeing Ipswich score, I've now seen um, a goal in every game since and more importantly, yesterday was the first time I've seen us score more than one goal um, and yesterday was my first win of the season. It's actually my first win we think since January 2018, something like that. Preston, away it was. So over, over 12 months. Um, and I have friends who live up north who've gone even longer than that. We're not used to northern away wins up here. So uh, really, really thoroughly deserve that. Everybody who waits um, until they can come and see the club play when they are up here. So pretty happy, absolutely ecstatic, actually, if I'm honest. Um, and looking forward to my next game, which will be Sheffield United away. And I hope you'll join me then.